What is up everybody, my name is Hudson and welcome back to Risk of Rain 2. Today marks the first episode of modded Risk of Rain and I am feeling a commando. Every item is soldier syringe on drizzle. I want this to be nuts. I wanna know what it looks like when I've got an unhealthy amount of soldier syringe. So big shout out you guys to the Risk of Rain 2 modding community, really helped me set this up. Especially Sushi Dev for helping me get the mods off the ground and Sir Quacker, for cranking this mod out in a matter of hours just for me. If you guys are interested in downloading mods or making mods yourself, highly recommend checking out that Discord. So, what's gonna happen here? Well, every single item, I'm definitely doing that battle thing up there. Uh, every item is soldier syringe, so we're not gonna have any healing. There are still drones, so like I'm kind of hoping we get some heal drones. Even just some other drones in general, because I'm not gonna lie, while Soldier is very fun and very uh, practical in a group setting, for the hit scan, uh, he he's garbage single player. That's two Soldier Syringe so far, you guys. I just, oh, there's another battle. Sweet, let's do it. I'm, I'm just, I'm, I'm so excited about the prospect of this, because I've been thinking about you know, doing runs like this, making it as crazy as possible. This looks awesome. So that, that, that said it was, uh, what was it, Cautious Slug? Nope. Whenever an item is spawned in, it automatically gets swapped out by Soldier Syringe. And this is gonna work for equipment. This is gonna work for lunar items. We wanna go to the shop. We wanna, or not the shop, yeah, it's, will you call it the shop? The lunar thing. <gasps> Heal drone, okay, yeah, I need that. I need it. Wait, he's my. I don't want to take too long here, but the longer, it doesn't matter, right? Where you decide to farm up items. If we decide to farm up items early, it's okay because you get the same exact items. Hello? I need more people to fight here. There we go. Look at that champ. The money from the champ. Man, when it rains, it pours. See no enemies for like 45 minutes and then like 20 spawn. There is a mod called Increase Spawn Rate. I think I would love to uh, pair Increase Spawn Rate with when every item is. Because then we could just buy items, kill so many enemies, like it would just get so much crazier. I think though the biggest drawback of this idea of doing every item is X is the fact that we're not gonna get these other necessary upgrades that really make an OP run OP. Like Will the Wisp is a great example, or ukulele. If we just had even one of those things partnered with all these syringes, it would be a whole different ballgame. You know what? I actually would like to try to find the shop shop statue. Isn't there one like over here somewhere? No, it's not there. Could probably just do this and then the boss. And then at that point in time, we'll have enough money to go farm everything else up. I really don't want to be here for that much longer though. It's already four and a half minutes in. Wandering vagrants. All right. No, no special boss items. We're getting soldier syringe. I think that would be really cool to do it like maybe once like every single time I get to a new stage I get to pick a green item or something of my choice. I don't know, that sounds way too powerful. But honestly, that kind of seems like that's the whole purpose here. But if you guys want to, you can start uh, crafting up challenges and not just challenges but ideas for certain videos that we could do with being able to choose our own items. I'm not prepared for this. Ow. Like I said, it might just literally be fun to say like, yeah, give yourself, you know, a hundred of this item just to see what'll happen. Is there anything that you guys are dying to know about? This is five soldier syringes, by the way. I'm feeling the power. I got the power. Like if I had like six backup mags right now, every item is soldier syringe and backup mag and roll the wisp on one. Wouldn't that be cool if there was like a shrine in this game that allowed you to combine two items so anytime you found one, you also got the other. Mad rush to buy everything. Buy it all, yes. That's seven, I think that's everything that we can probably get here. No shop though, Rip. Do the suppressive fire with this many soldier syringe, more like impressive fire. Damn. I'm gonna say we're gonna make it at least 10 stages. That's my guess here. I think, like I said, without other upgrades, it's gonna catch up to us at some point in time. It's just like our slow speed even. Game's gonna outpace us after a bit. Cock tease me with those red whips. I'm like, speed, and it's like, red whips? Another heal drone. I think we should get as many of those as possible. Honestly, no healing items. You don't really understand how bad that is until you're in a situation when, where you start a run and you don't get any healing items. It's not really worth it for us to go ahead and buy a, a, a green shop or an extra large chest 
It's just extra money for the same exact item. Or say, like, to fight the, uh, the Watcher guy that gives you a legendary item, because it's just gonna be Soldier Syringe. There is a mod, though. There is a mod that will allow me to, um, replace all the, of the Tier 1 items, all the white items with Soldier Syringes, and leave all the other item pools alone. That might be, like, an actual feasible way to go about doing that. We need increased spawn rate though, this is ridiculous. It's almost worth it for me to just run, go find the teleporter, and then run all the way back to claim that stuff. Or just leave it behind, I don't know. Back up, Meg, why, why, you have to tease me like this? Am I complaining about having nothing but, uh, soldier syringes? <laughs> they just seem like an obvious choice, like, oh man, you'd so win with those. In practice, though, I did one run, um, not really as a test, but more so the recording failed after, like, three stages. It's not as powerful as, as one would hope, but we'll see. I think on Drizzle, because that was not in Drizzle. This is now in Drizzle. It's gonna be way better. At some point, I, I, I could have enough soldier syringes that like nothing could beat me right almost instantaneously melt enemies but i have to go, i have to pray that i can get that uh, far that fast before i get one shot by something oof i think i am actually going to run back there cuz i don't even see like much of anything else here i say we beeline it or maybe even a c line it back to that cave back there go oh i don't even want that number 10 Number 10. Such a waste of time. <laughs> oh well. I gotta have those heals though. Where was that bot? It was in the water, wasn't it? Yep. 12, 13 minutes for stage three. <laughs> Look at me shoot though. We finally dipped into medium. Bring it on, medium what you got. Scorched Acres, possibly the worst map ever. 3D printer for lies. That would be good, though, if I could actually have those. Watch, if I try to print one, guess what happens? Surprise! Oh man, this is good damage, though. Look at this damage! You don't get 11 soldier syringes in a run that lasts three hours. Unless you find a printer. Imagine this, though, if I even had a couple of, uh, crit glasses. Equipment? Nah, no thanks. Oh, I played him. Thanks, Heal Drone. Heal Drone's like, yep, totally took him on with nobody else's help, huh? 75, let's go, I'm feeling risky. Heal Drone, keep up. Gotta keep up. More, please. This is 15. I don't even know how high they stack. Is there a limit? Yeah, buddy. Trying to think of other ideas for some, some crazy matchups, and I'm thinking nothing but hard light afterburner with loader. That would give him nothing but like, uh, just, just punch after punch after punch. It'd be unstoppable. Let's do this thing. Imp Overlord, not my favorite. One of my least favorites, in fact. Ow. Are my heal drones here yet? Yeah, he, there he is. Eat it! No, 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 no. Got him. Wowzer. That's 18. I'm thinking every item is crowbar with Huntress would be a phenomenal video. Because at some point, the Huntress is going to end up one-shotting everything. But to see if you could survive to get to that point, though. Like I was saying, some of these uh, ideas that seem like they're overpowered, not so much. Oh man, the headdress would be so strong for me right now if I could just have one of them even. Single player blows, there's like no items anywhere. Guess I'm leaving. What about our shop that we were gonna go to? When's that gonna happen? Does it make sense to do that extra mission? That's probably too much time for just getting, what, nine more syringes? Probably not worth. Drones. Drones would be important for aggro reasons. Probably get those. But we should not activate that guy. I started shooting the... The things? No thanks. Oh, there's a will of a wisp right there to buy. God damn it. If just even have one of them, that'd be amazing. Still can't even afford this missile drone. 
Elder Lemurian. Come out. Yep, there you are. I need your money. This guy's loaded. Got him. Another missile drone. Let's go. Two missile drones and two healing drones. This is a spicy team. Uh oh, my healing drone's dying. Ow. Leave him alone! Jerk! He's stuck in the floor! Bro! Move! Come on, man! Get out of there! Got him. I freed him. You're welcome. Oh, hi, boss. Didn't see you there. Alright, this is pretty good. We're definitely getting more powerful than they are. <laughs> oh, hell! Damn. Apparently there's mods for like new characters and stuff too. Sounds pretty dope. I've said it before, I'll say it again. I think that there should be a larger push for Risk of Rain 2 multiplayer and they should make a support class. Even if it was a class kind of like Mercy in Overwatch where she actually could pull out a gun and, and be offensive, I think having some sort of support that could beef up shields. Who's the, the girl in Overwatch that drops shields on people? Zarya? Like you could do that for like if something's about to explode. You could have a, a healer and just in general. I mentioned in a video too, like what if you had like one character that was super large, right? That was just like a massive character that was super tanky, but moved really slow. Wait, another drone? Oh my, missile drones. Wait, super healer drone. Oh, I'm not gonna have enough money for that. I will if these guys could freaking heal me up quick. Oh, I got it! Woo! That's gonna be huge! Big plays, big plays. But yeah, like like a like a giant character that you kind of have to like protect, who's like sort of a tank, but like you you do have to work around him, or you can hide behind him if something's gonna explode. Maybe it drops upgrades or something like that, or like you know beefs everyone's fire rate for ten seconds, or you know some sort of aura thing that would make you want to stick with it. There could also just be different game modes where it's not just kill enemies and go into the teleporter, but it's like push the payload, right? Or, or try to protect something. I think this game has so much potential with the modding community. It really depends on how much the money, how much they have the ability to actually implement these things. I don't really know. I haven't like, you know, I obviously haven't been in the code, so. Look at my, look at my ragtag team. I don't necessarily feel like we should do the standard protocol of rushing the teleporter. I think we should just farm items. The play here is not in how fast we can get to wherever it's, how many items we can get on the way? Spicy shots. Who's here? Hermit crabs? I don't even see him. Another big healer, bro. At this point, it's getting ridiculous. But that is kind of the point. At this point, that's the point. Ridiculous is good. He says as he hits challenge in the mountain. <laughs> for one extra syringe. Oh god. Oh, lordy. Oh no. Healer drones, I need ya. These guys are just professionals. They're professionals. That guy's healing three things at once. These are so good, the extra, the, the super big ones. They have the ability to heal all the drones all at once. Plus me. Look at them go. Let's do it. Laser me, I don't even give a shit. My healers are too strong for you. Two syringes worth, it was worth it. That's 29, we're so close to 30. Next, go, 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 go. Oh jeez, throw me in there, why don't you? Get freaking melted though. Shop thing! Shop thing! I can get up to it with no jump upgrades or speed upgrades. There we go. All right, Mr. Insane Boss, what do you got? Against my 38 syringes, be <laughs> Yeah, right, Beetle Queen. And... Scene. Look at this madness. Where's my ukulele? Or like, even one gasoline would do it. I think the more drones, the better at this point. The drones of the aggro are just saving my life. All the masks up there. I think we're gonna last 
until either we get one shot or the, or my healers, all my drones get one shot, and then we'll lose. Oh hell yeah, it works. So expensive though for lunar coins. Rip. Dune Striders, eh? Not doing enough damage to my drones. They hit them directly too. That hurts though. I haven't been seeing any more drones. I would like to double the amount of missile and healing drones that I have. And we're done. Oh, hi, sir. My god. One of my emergency drones is hurt. You guys, stick together, please. Hold hands. Single file. Magma worms. I called 10 stages. This is going to stage nine. I want to fight that gilded coast bastard. It's been such a long time. We end up going there though, that's probably how I die. There's a shop, 39 coins left. I don't feel like giving up, what, 10 plus coins just, just for this? Just for four more syringes. This is, it's fine. Stone Titans and no place to hide. Oh! Hide behind the other Stone Titans, it's genius. Uh oh, oh no! Oh man, that was close. Too close. Oh Jesus, we're dying. We're dying. We're dying. You guys are here though. Oh, we're back up. <laughs> we're back in. Woo! Stage 10, we made it. Literally without my emergency drones specifically, we would be dead. 100%. Up the ass. One of my miss uh, emergency drones died. Yeah, that means we're dead. I, I, I called stage 10. I called it. The omen being our, our emergency drone. Now my emergency drone can't heal my other emergency drone. Is it is it like next to us? Can I can I pick it up? Where is it? It's there! It's there! Get it! I got it! Ah! Run emergency drone! Get out of there! Save yourself! Oh, my Clay Dune Strider. Oh, Jesus. Oh, look at all these champions, too. Wowzers. Let's get this and go, man. Let's just get out of here. Stage 11 is a victory in my books. Woo! All right. We can die now. Scorched Acres. 70 syringes. You leave that missile drone alone. Pick on someone your own size. Douche. Missile drone, get out of there. Save yourself now. Move. Come on. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Come on. Come on. Buddy. There we go. Boss. Drove tenders. No. Ah, uh, this is not good news. Oops. This isn't helping anything. Did I got nowhere to go? Excuse me. Excuse, oh, oh, yeah, oh, uh, yeah, oh, yeah, uh, well, hmm, a fitting end. A fitting end. 76 soldier syringes. I thought that I would be so powerful at 50 soldier syringes that I would just mow through the game. Don't get me wrong, though. That was a lot of fun. I can't believe that was Drizzle. Let me know your guys' thoughts on this. Hit me up with your best ideas. Thank you for watching, and I will see you in the next episode. See you guys.